Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Star Trek Online. I am your host, the Black Jade Falcon. We are just crossing the Pollux system in Federation space. We are headed back to the Romulan flotilla to take care of the once and future agent. Hooray. And we just completed a few things. Excellent. So I went ahead and added in that new module from the last episode. So now my guy's a little bit stronger. And we're on the way. I can't wait to do this uh, Spoils of War one. This one's going to be fun. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Sell the sector. And let's take a look here. And we just got to go another two sectors. We're almost to the... Uh, Federation border here. Getting pretty close. We're headed right here. Okay, that's us. This is where we're going. Okay, gotta go home for a little bit. Ooh, a nebula. It's pretty. How is everybody today? Go ahead and leave that in the comments. I'm having a great day. Uh, at the time I'm recording this, it's Friday afternoon. Gonna uh, be making myself some dinner soon. I'm thinking fish. Maybe. We'll see. Might have some salmon running around. I don't know. Alrighty. And for those of you who are who like cats, uh, my cats are actually doing very well. Uh, Oscar and I got into a little fight a little bit while ago chewed each other out, but now we're okay. We're buddies again. He's my buddy. Ooh, fear of that. Dun, dun, dun. Those of you who know much about uh, old Star Trek lore, scary place. <laughs> fear that system. Yeah. on the flotilla. And we'll enter. There we go. So what do you guys think of uh, Deep Space Nine? Pretty nice, pretty neat little station, huh? Yeah, you can go into, you can go into Quark's bar, talk with Morn. I thought that was kind of fun. I had to include that. I, I didn't know if it was there or not because it had been years since I'd been there. That was kind of funny. All right. Go talk to Kale. Excuse me. Sorry. Little sticky here. There we go. Now it's working. Okay, and. Actually, that'd be a faster way to do this. Go through this way. Excuse me, sugar. Yes, I know. I'm a sexist pick. Let's go over here. Excuse me. Okay. Alright, thank you for coming. Uh, I've been contacted by Daniels, one of our agents from the 31st century. Uh, it's his job to monitor timeline problems, blah, blah, blah. There's been an incursion, 23rd. Daniel says, like, uh, like your ship and dealing with this. You were able to meet him very well. Here he has to say. Thank you for coming. My name is Daniels. In case you're wondering, this is a temporal observatory. From here, I can monitor the time stream against any incursions. We've become aware of several temporal incidents led by rogue Nakul agents. They've been using a new form of time travel that we can't detect. 
We were unaware of their activities until we started noticing changes in the time stream. The latest of these changes happened in the 23rd century at the Galorndon core system. We believe the Nakul are involved, along with a planet killer, a doomsday machine. If that's the case, we need to stop them at all costs. I know I can count on you to go back in time with me and preserve the timeline. Ah, oh, crap. More time travel. All right, fine. Okay. We've detected significant temporal activity in the Galorndon core system, circa the 23rd century. I'm going to investigate it, and I'd like you to join me. We believe the Nakul are involved, along with a planet killer. A doomsday machine. If so, we need to stop them at all costs. I'll provide your ship with holographic camouflage. It's best if the Romulans of that time don't see a vessel from the future. I agree. Stay safe out there. Okay. Now if we can stop spinning. Oy. There we go. I hate it when it does that. It's making me dizzy. Okay. So we got that. Let's take a look at... Alright. 37. We got Spoils of War. I really don't see much of a difference, so I'm going to make this one primary, and we're going to go to there, alright, go to the Cadron core system, okay, head to the ship, don't you like the new outfit man, I think it's kind of nice, a bit classy, got some panache, you know? Look like Federation dog. Alright. And auto nav. Bring us around. Take it slow. By the way, my next ship I'm naming the. St I don't know. Blue February or something. Blue March. Opposite of the Red October. I don't know, figure it out. Then we'll do Spoils of War afterwards. This might run two episodes, though, so we'll see what happens. Pretty close on a few. A lot of them are gonna be a wild few days. And we got some time. Hey, 17 seconds. Awesome. It's almost done. And I'll let that run. Almost there. And failed miserably. That's okay. I still will have you. Okay. Flush. Okay. Thank you. I've also transmitted files that will establish your cover identity as Tall Shiar security operatives. Joy. You'll need to put this data into their local network before entering the research facility, however. 
There's a comms satellite nearby that you can use to accomplish this. Peachy. Okay. All right. So they know who we are now. Expect the amount. Fear and loathing. Okay. Doomsday Machine, by the way, if anybody knows much about this, yeah. Tall Shiar Vessel, cease all sensor scans of the device immediately. You do not have the proper clearance. IRW Morari, this is Galorndon Station Command. Please transmit your security credential. Data received, Morari. Welcome to Galorndon Core. Sending you transporter coordinates now. I've taken the liberty of informing Commander Chulak. I'm sure the director will want to greet you personally. <laughs> All right. Set on down, boys. seek and destroy planetary bodies, consuming what remains as fuel. And yet, there's one in orbit just sitting there, peacefully. It looks like reports of the Nakul gaining the ability to control the machines are accurate. We need to find out how, and fast. Your holographic disguises should conceal you while you search the facility. Good hunting. All right, put planet pain RDU crocus, doomsday machine just in case. All right. So we got. Okay. I don't believe in any of these Klingon ships. Neat. Okay, where are we supposed to find this guy? Oh, he's over there. Okay, that's fine. Come on. Wait up the pace, kids. Up to. Excuse me. This area is restricted. You need to leave. Now. My orders are clear, Romulan. No one is to pass this point until the meeting is concluded. No one. Not okay.
Oh, hey, buddy. Subcommander, it is my duty to inform you that this area is restricted. Sir. Y yes, Subcommander. At once. Uh, forgive my rudeness. Uh, access granted. Let me get the door for you. Good boy. Um, this door doesn't open. Turn the handle, sir. Oh. Okay. Alright, there it is. Ooh. Alright. Sensors indicate encoded signal, and our cool beam to do the machine, blah blah blah. Pure machine. machine. Okay. Let's see if we can sneak into Chulak's office. I love how like two thousand. I love how like twenty teens that room is, man. It's awesome. Sub Commander, I've been instructed to grant you access to this facility. Of course, Subcommander. My family is a friend to the Tal Shar and loyal to the Empire. Access for you and your team is granted. Well, thank you, buddy. You're a good boy. Oh, look, he's there. The Senate has dispatched an agent from an alien race known as the Nakul. Repugnant creature. But she's of a keen mind and cunning. I can appreciate as a Romulan officer. If only her visage wasn't so... hideous. She boasts she has a weapon that will turn the tide in favor of Romulus. An old song, to be sure. But she sings it sweetly. Okay. That one. I said that one. Krog's mysterious backer, the so-called Envoy, has made an impression in the right circles of power. We'll see if he can deliver, however. Data on his miracle weapon is due to arrive soon. Those scars, truly hideous. Krog is practically radiant in comparison. My researchers have analyzed the Nakul weapon data. It matches a report we have on an incident in Federation space involving a doomsday machine. Sure, if accurate, sure. this weapon destroyed USS Constellation and nearly mm -hmm. rid the cosmos of USS Enterprise. It seems Enterprise's thrice-damped captain exposed a vulnerability in the weapon. I shall have to address this with Krog upon her return. And lastly... Krog arrives tomorrow, along with her reportedly improved weapon. I believe the Envoy will be making an appearance as well. It seems it's the season for guests. If my agents are to be believed, we'll be getting a visit from the Tal Shiar very soon. I'm already suffering the witless bureaucrat from the Senate. To endure the serpents of the secret police is nearly too much to ask of a true Romulan. Okay. Thank you. Off we go. We're down here. Entourage, come. Bring me a shrubbery. Thank you. Can I get in this one? Let's find out. Greetings, Sub-Commander. I knew it was only a matter of time before the fabled Tal Shiar came to call. The Nakul have brought a glorious weapon to your empire. You won't be disappointed. I can assure you. This one shall, Sub-Commander. Beyond measure. Well, 
well. Okay, then. Good talk. Subcommander, if this doomsday weapon lives up to the Nakul woman's boasts, it will ensure the Empire's dominance over the entire quadrant. The Federation and the Klingons will have no choice but to bend the knee to Romulus, or face annihilation. No. Trust is a hard-earned currency. However, I respect their weapon. See what happens. Your attention, please. Let's begin, shall we? We thank Specialist Krog of Nakul for joining us. We have concerns about the dangers involved with this weapon. You, you have, have nothing, nothing to fear from the machine, my friend. Would you be so confident if you were here, Envoy? Utterly so, Commander. Soon, the Doomsday Machine what will bring our foes to their knees. Bold words, Envoy. We shall see, won't we? It would seem a demonstration is in order. See to it, Krog. As you wish. Shall we, Commander? Very well. Show me what this beast of yours can do. It will be my pleasure. Enjoy the show, interloper. They are using holographic disguises, guards. Deal with them. Of course we get made. All right, guys. Get into a fight. Okay, good job, people. Come on, take it down. I'm gonna move.
Okay. So while we're here, uh, that's potentially an upgrade. So we've got. Uh, that's technically better. So, let's see how this one is. TSA 4, TSA 4.2, rapid regeneration. Yeah, I'll take that. Cool. Thank you. Alright. Dovon, my brother. Let's get you something pretty. Whip. And... Resistance. Yeah. Quit. There you go. Nitra. Actually, who is here? Citra and Veril. Okay. Look. So let's take a look at Veril real quick. See what she's doing. Get that. And Citra. Leave six doesn't matter. It's fine. Okay. Alright, replicator. Let's clear out some junk. And recycle. Thank you. And thank you. And Prepped and ready. By the way, collect. Go. Well, I'll just. Anybody? Eh? 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 This is. Well, hello. Take that all, man. All right. Let's see what else we can do here. Take a look at this. That's. Great, it's not bad. Let's see what this does for my buddy. I like it, but I don't want to give that to him just yet. So let's take a look at Kivan. Yeah, he needs an upgrade. In the worst way. Earl, let's take a look at you. Can help you, not even slightly. Citra. Uh, well, kinda. But, eh, I think we'll be okay. Tovan. Probably not yet, I think so. Okay, it's fine. Let's go. Snooch, baby, snooch. Thank you. 
Cetera. Go kill people. Got anything? All right, get us out of here. Thanks, sugar. And guys, I'm gonna go ahead and leave you right there. Well, at least uh, let's just double check. Make sure. We're trying to get our computer to interface with that Nakul control console, but their tech is quite advanced. I need at least five minutes to integrate it. And on that cliffhanger, I'm going to let you guys go. It's been a pleasure playing for you. If you're new to the channel, hit that big red subscribe button down below. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment. I will be back later with another episode, uh, so don't forget to tune in. Uh, take care, guys. Black Jade Falcon. Bye-bye.